What's up everybody? I'm April Justine with Designer Exotics and today we are taking a closer look into my collection. Alright guys, so this is Casper. This is one of my actually, gosh, probably Borneo I've had almost the longest. Uh, Medusa is the one I have had the longest in my collection so far. And then this is Casper. He is a full-grown male Borneo, and you will see how tiny he is. I mean, I guess, here, up against me, this is how long he is. <laughs> and um, he's a small little guy. He always has been really small. He is a 2015, so he's turning five this year. Um, and for a five-year-old, this is pretty small. Um, he is breeding age. He's five, you know, five, so three years old is maybe breeding age for males, uh, definitely four years old, um, but I just don't have any female that I want to pair with him. Um, so he is an ultra, so you'll notice um, kind of the silver color that comes along here. I have paint all over my hands, so excuse that. Um, but yeah, so he's an ultra, trying to get the better coloring, I guess, there you go. <laughs> I'm really trying to get this in, in the video. I don't know how it's going to work out for me. Um, but I named him Casper after his mother. Um, so I don't know if you guys have been in the short tail world for a while, but there was a man named Tim Mead who had a bunch of Borneos, a ton of them, um, and they were huge. They were massive. Like this guy's mom is a massive, massive snake. Um, and he is just this little petite thing. Uh, part of his petiteness is that, like I talked with uh, uh, Justice, brain fart, when I talked about Justice, I talked about him uh, not eating for me, and this one did the same thing when he was younger and didn't really eat. Uh, I tried the starvation mode with him, where you just don't feed them for a long time and then offer frozen thawed, and he didn't care. Um, and he got to the point where he was, you know, not eating for too long, made me uncomfortable, so I went and got live. Um, I have a wonderful rat supplier now here in Tennessee, and so I'm able to get live for them uh, whenever they need it. Uh, every Saturday is my, my rat trip. Uh, but this guy, uh, I feed my adult males only once a month, so he gets a large rat once a month and is keeping this body tone that you see. Um, so I know I talk about body tone a lot with every snake I take out. So you're going to see the ridge here of his spine. Um, so you do see his spine there, and it's sticking out a little bit more because he's over the hump of my um, my shoulder there. Uh, but this is a really good body condition for them. I never ever want any of my snakes to be fat. I'm super weird about any of my pets being fat. My whole thing is we're in charge of feeding them, and so we're in charge of their health and, and their state of fitness. Oh, he's getting crazy wiggly on me. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> Um, but it's really a pet peeve of mine when people have obese animals, um, especially snakes. So that is one of my things that I feed my adult males only once a month. Uh, most of my juveniles, even some of my babies, I only feed once every two weeks. It really depends. Um, I work off of body type instead of a schedule. Um, I, I track when I feed them, but I don't, like, I actually track using the post-its right here. So pink post-it means that they ate last or the last time I offered. So I know if they have a pink post-it, they ate, if they don't, then they refused or didn't get fed. Blue means that they're in shed, and yellow is uh, I need to watch them for something. You know, I saw something that was concerning. Um, that's the system I use. And now I'm starting to track it in Excel too. Uh, I digress though. <laughs> uh, like I said with Casper, um, he is a mature male, but I don't actually have a female that I want to pair him up with at the moment. Um, I thought about the striped Borneo Medusa that I am currently breeding, but she's being bred right now till Sylvester, who is another striped Borneo with a beautiful orange head. Um, and I breed my females once every two years, so she won't be getting bred again for another couple years. Uh, I have a granite that has a latte in it instead of the ultra, so I really don't want to mix the two. Um, I could, but I just really don't care to, so he's kind of just my lone male at this point. But one of the... He's actually, I had four Borneos from Tim, um, and he was one of them. And I sold, one of them died, and unfortunately it was this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful granite. Um, she had a really cool pattern. It reminded me of a giraffe, I love her. Um, but she ended up passing because she got a mouth infection that just got crazy bad, crazy fast, and antibiotics did not help. 
Um, and then the other two I ended up selling, but I kept him. Um, like I said, his name is homage to his mother, Casper. So if you guys remember Tim Mead and remember his big ass snake, Casper, this is um, her son. So uh, yeah, I uh, really don't know what else to say about him. He is also a pretty cool, calm snake. He gives me the side eye all the time, like the stink eye all the time. But he's uh, pretty good as well for my Borneos. Oh, I hate snakes up in my face because I had a baby uh, bite my lip. <laughs> She's not a baby anymore and I'll, I'll do a, a collection highlight on her, but that is a painful, painful bite, let me tell you. Um, yeah, so this is Casper and this is today's collection highlight. He is my Ultra Borneo. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions about him, anything that you wanna see from my collection that you know I have, let me know in the comments and I can do a collection highlight on that. I hope you guys have a great week, that your snakes are healthy and happy and doing well, and I will see you guys next time. All right, bye guys.